TJ Jefferson. I knew this is what I would see when I walked in the door. But go for it, TJ. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, you got to turn your mock. I was over here laughing. How about them Cowboys? Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. Wow. Our number one can has I, begun. Can I get it, Mike? By the way, Mike, you got to play. Lose. It's all right. Them, yeah. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, That's I'll the one. It That's, That's, That's kind of a metaphor. No, no, it's it's kind of a metaphor of last night's it's game. Giants. It was one game, Rich. No, 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 no. Last the way you just started is kind of like the metaphor of last night's game because the Giants came out of the box looking great on on Sunday Night Football. Uh, I mean, Daniel Jones was running. Saquon was running. Daniel Jones was uh, elusive. That's the guy that we saw in Minnesota last year, winning a playoff game, their final win of the season, eliminating the Vikings from the postseason, the Giants winning a playoff game for the first time since the Super Bowl that they had beaten New England in their last of two. So they came out just like that. And then their rookie center on third down uh, rolls one towards Daniel Jones. And, I mean, who knew that that was the finger in the dike? And then the entire dam broke because that led to a blocked field goal for a touchdown by the Dallas Cowboys, whose defense then came out on the field and began a will imposition that is quite rare to see in week one. It's an interesting way to put it. An imposition of will. Mm. As Michael Parsons X'd out after the game. <laughs> Y'all thought this was a game. Hashtag doomsday. I guess that's what they're calling themselves. Yeah, I think They were the hot boys with a Z a few years ago, but that was before Dan Quinn came in there. Brought doomsday back. And started bringing doomsday back. He tweeted that out. Thank you. He and the rest of that Dallas Cowboys defense last night showed everybody exactly why the Cowboys have Super Bowl aspirations because that was a Super Bowl championship-style tail-kicking on Sunday night football. And the special teams unit was the first unit to get out there and score a touchdown. And then the defense scored a touchdown, which just proves to you. You think Dak's under pressure? He is not under pressure one iota Literally if the special point. teams and defensive units are putting points on the board. That means his points are gravy, which is kind of nuts to say. And Mike McCarthy dialing up the offense for Dak. That was supposed to be a total stepping on their own football Johnson type of decision <laughs> made by him and the Joneses. Let's send Kellen Moore out West, the young wonderkind X and O's guy. Let's bring it back. Mike McCarthy in his Amon green, Eddie Lacy way of doing things. <laughs> Eddie Lacy. Yeah. I just said it. <laughs> bring back Mike dialing up plays for Dak. We're going to run the ball more just as we watch Zeke walk out the door to new England. I even said, that's the concern for me. Because I'm not worried about Dak when Brandon Cooks is coming in to start cooking the top of the defense and CeeDee Lamb is back and Michael Gallup is healthy and that offensive line is healthy and paid and Jerry Jones didn't do what the Chiefs are at this point continuing to do, which is deal with a holdout of somebody in the trenches that you need. They got Zach Martin paid. He's out there, and you saw the results last night on NBC. 40 to nothing, your final <laughs> score. How rare is that? How rare, how rare is, is it? it? Well, actually, do you know how rare it is? Yeah, pretty rare. Like I looked like at I, I had NFL research look it up. I'm not saying I did. I reached out <laughs> as soon as this game was toast and over. How often have we seen a 40-point Margin of victory in an opening week shutout. W. Opening week shutout. Opening week shutout W where you've put up 40 and the other team has put up zero. Nice. The answer, we have seen it now six times in the Super Bowl era. Six Ooh. times in the Super Bowl era. This is the latest such time and the latest such instance in which we have seen it. One team actually back in the day did it 
the Washington team did it, and they wound up making the Super Bowl back in the day. Six times we have now seen it. And the Lions did it in 1970. First one to do it. The Browns did it in 89, 51, nothing. The only 50 burger. The Steelers, the Cowboys, and the reason why I mention Washington, 45 to nothing. They're the only ones on that list right there to win the Super Bowl, which Dallas can most certainly do. And I am not saying it just because of what I saw. Because Dak and the offense wasn't fully clicking. But what was, was that defense. And that kid who never played college sports, yeah. former ML, MLS star, if he can make field goals like that. I, I was ready to cut him after his first mix. No, I know, it's, because it's, it was it's, raining like cats and dogs. He missed his first extra point. Otherwise, it would have been 41 uh, nothing. 41 nothing. Yeah. What a game. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Two salute. We're, we're on to the Jets. I know. That's next up. But, you know, we're, we in uh, Jetland are taking it one game at a time, <laughs> and tonight's a pretty big one. But Dallas showed everybody the decisions that they made from the draft to Mike McCarthy getting the play calling to Dak doing what he did last night. How many interceptions did you throw last night? Uh, whew, I don't know, that's Big zero. fat zero. Same zero. number of points the, the uh, Giants scored. And that defense, that is a special, special defense for sure. They're Dallas fast. Cowboys got it done. Well done. While the Eagles struggled against New England, and we'll talk about that later on in this program. He also didn't get sacked yesterday either. Hey, brother. Well done. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 